А я сейчас утром был, ты мужиками вот тут вот первый взрыв, блядь, у меня аж окна все появились, блядь. Ну, Черкасу, блин. Потом еще один взрыв. Но я на порог как раз вышел покурить. Нефтебаза колает. Летит еще один дрон. На. Putin sees final end of war in destroying Ukrainian statehood, ISW. Russian leader Vladimir Putin's statements have indicated that he does not want to agree on anything else other than destroying Ukrainian statehood and identity. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, said this. During a meeting with Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, Russian leader Vladimir Putin firmly rejected the notion of a negotiated ceasefire, instead advocating for a definitive conclusion to the war that would obliterate Ukrainian sovereignty. Putin emphasized that a temporary truce would only allow Ukraine to regroup and rearm, insisting on a comprehensive and irreversible end to the conflict. Putin's rhetoric and demands highlight his refusal to settle for anything less than the total dismantling of Ukrainian statehood and national identity. His conditions include the cession of substantial Ukrainian territories and the complete surrender of Ukrainian military as prerequisites for any peace talks. Furthermore, Putin likely envisions Ukraine's capitulation as a means to overthrow its democratically elected government, replacing it with a pro-Russian administration that aligns with his strategic interests. To thwart Putin's objectives, Ukraine must continue its counter-offensive operations aimed at reclaiming key territories. The international community, particularly Western allies, must accelerate their support to empower Ukraine's military efforts. This robust assistance is vital to disrupt Putin's plans, shorten the conflict, and achieve a peace settlement that respects Ukraine's sovereignty and meets the expectations of its global partners. Putin is demanding both the surrender of a significant portion of Ukraine's territory and people to Russian occupation and Ukrainian military capitulation in advance of any negotiations on an end state to the war. During the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in Astana, Kazakhstan, Putin dismissed any prospects of ceasefire negotiations. The Russian ruler often portrays the West as his main negotiating partner to secure concessions on Ukrainian sovereignty, but dismissed all intermediary parties and Ukraine's Verkhovna Rada as illegitimate or unsuitable for talks. Putin's demand for Ukraine's demilitarization as a precondition for a ceasefire highlights his strategy. Russia is gradually losing control over occupied Crimea, military expert. Ukrainian military expert Vladislav Zelezniov believes that Ukraine's defense forces are gradually diminishing the Russian military presence in Crimea. He expressed his opinion on Espresso TV. Russia is losing its military presence in Crimea, although it is happening slowly. This is primarily due to Ukraine's defense forces destroying Russian military infrastructure in Crimea. When Russia is forced to relocate missile launchers closer to Novorossiysk, it signifies a reduction in military presence. Similarly, the loss of air defense and missile defense capabilities in Crimea weakens the combat readiness of the Russian troops on the peninsula. Destruction of Russian ammunition depots and equipment in Crimea further undermines their military strength, the expert stated. Zelezniov emphasized the strategic importance of destroying the Crimean bridge. The defense forces have repeatedly stated that 2024 will be a year of special attention to occupied Crimea. 
the Russian forces must feel that Crimea is not their land, but Ukrainian. This land will burn under the feet of Russians until the last Russian soldier leaves Crimea, and they should hurry, because Maliuk and Budanov have repeatedly stated that the structure of the Crimean Bridge is redundant and should be destroyed. So, while they have the opportunity, they can leave our Crimea. He added, military expert Serhii Zaguretz believes that the Ukrainian armed forces are conducting systematic work to destroy Russian air defense in the temporarily occupied Crimea. According to the expert, Russia is reinforcing Crimea with air defense systems. Recently, the Ukrainian defense forces using ATACMS missiles and UAVs have been systematically eliminating the entire Russian air defense in Crimea. We know that over the past two months, 15 units of Russian air defense systems have been destroyed in the temporarily occupied Crimea. This was reported by the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces, in particular S-300, S-400, command posts and radars for these air defense systems. In fact, the Ukrainian armed forces' systematic measures are now aimed at completely clearing Crimea of Russian air defense. This is not an easy task. The enemy has a significant number of these military assets, he added.